there, you're welcome to your favorite show here on TAF TV, the CIA Corner. My name is Ayo Kemen and I'm your co-host for today. If you're yet to subscribe to this channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Do well to subscribe. Follow us up on all our social media handles so that you get updated each time we bring you top trending headlines just like this other one we're about to tell you today. Like you know, here in CIA, we bring to you the best of commentaries, in-depth analysis that are trending on our newspaper headlines. Like my colleague will say, we are here to address the issue of husband and wife that the federal government and our Nigerian Labour Congress in regard to this um, alleged minimum wage of 615,000 against 48,000. Wow, what a huge gap. Now sit back and relax. I will go on a quick break and we'll bring you details of this story after the break. Alright, you're welcome back from that quick break. Now let's dive into the story. You can never run a functional economy, a functional workforce without minimum wage. Now, a few months ago, our NLC, that's the Nigerian Labour Congress, came out and gave us a clear data analysis, let me put it that way, of how uh, their demands would go in regards to the wages now and they, they demanded for six hundred and fifteen thousand. now our federal government few days ago came out to say that they are proposing against the six hundred and fifteen thousand that nigerian labor congress demanded in regards to their um according to them this is not minimum wage this is living wage now the federal government has kicked against it though they are yet to give us um clear analysis now to this husband and wife situation the most controversial part of this story is that uh, our nlc that the nigerian labor congress came out with um should i say proofs analysis a breakdown of what they want they even told us that okay um this is uh they are they are making provisions for uh, uh, uh for families that are, for a worker that has six children this will be their school fees this will be their lighting they they they, they gave nigerians good reasons for demanding um uh, 615,000. and here we are the government federal government coming out in regards to this proposal because the federal government are not placing our 615,000 as demanded by nlc as as an agreement they are putting it as a proposal that's to say they can actually beat it down or uh, they can actually agree to it or disagree to it and now at this point i feel they're actually disagreeing to it because brought down the amount to 48,000. now federal government coming out to tell nlc and nigeria as a whole that they are they are placing their uh, living wage this is not minimum wage now because compared to how our economy is right now we are no longer depending on minimum wage so uh, nlc has placed it on on living wage now the government is yet to give nigerians and nlc good reasons why they are placing it at forty-eight thousand against six hundred and fifteen thousand as as proposed by nlc now let's let's also look at it on the angle of i know of late we have been attacking the government and uh, and saying okay they should actually agree because the cost of living has actually increased so our living wage should, should also increase now let's look at it from the angle of nlc in as much as we know that it is in their place to always demand and ask for increment it is their right at the space of uh, at, at at a working space or uh, in a particular year i guess they are, you're supposed to make demands for increments. That is very okay. But we should also consider the part of productivity. Now, how productive has the NLC, like the workforce of Nigeria, been that has added to the economy that will result to this increment? Because it is, uh, it is a two-way thing. You're asking for increment in regards to what you have done. Now, or, or, of late, we are, we, we are yet to actually see, okay, uh, in as much as we are, we are using hardship as, as, uh, as an excuse, we are using, uh, um, hardship as a yastic for increment we should also see i, I feel uh, from the angle of the federal government we, we should also see the uh, economic benefits you're bringing to the table so i i, I feel uh, in as much as our nlc are demanding for something demanding for increment they should also give us another good reason because i i know they are very good at data analysis giving us good analysis about just like what they did to the six hundred and fifteen thousand. i feel they should also uh come uh come to, to the terms that they, they, they are the workforce of the nation. That, that's to say they have to add to the economy. So of late, we are, we are yet to see what they are adding to the economy because at some point now, our economy is not stable. 
if 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 we if we want to look at it from from the uh from the angle of the government the our nigerian economy is not stable so having to demand for um demand for increments in your living wage i feel you should also bring some um level of innovative ideas that will also add up to the economy rather than just having to wake up one day and use um hardship as a yastic to increase your um as the NLC will always put it. So I feel NLC should also go back to their drawing board and also think of how to add to the economy because if government gets to uh, accept this uh, 615,000 monthly, it's going to stretch the, the economy of the nation. Now, also considering the angle of the government because they are the fathers. They are the fathers of this. So rather than just waking up and, and, and telling NLC, no, we are not agreeing to this particular proposal of uh, 615,000. We want to place it at 48,000. We feel and we believe they should be so, uh, we feel and we believe that they, they should be more transparency in regards to this 400 and, uh, of, or I beg your pardon, in this 48,000 that they are, they are, they are bringing to the table. Now let us have a good reason, just like, uh, NLC gave us, okay, for a family of six, this is what, uh, we, we are, we are expecting them to spend. They even, uh, gave analysis in terms of inflation. If we get to have inflation, okay, this is how much a particular family will be spending. I feel the government should be transparent enough to also come out and say, see you. This is why we are, we're placing it at 48,000. This is why we, 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 we want it to be at this level for now. So just like I said, it is a two way win, not uh, disregard the fact that for a nation to move forward, there has to be a functional workforce and those workforce have to be empowered. So in as much as we are hoping that the government will actually buy to the ideas, I know some persons are, are saying at least they should place it at the hundred thousand. In as much as we know that the government, we are pleading with the government to please buy into the ideas of NLC. We are also pleading with NLC to please add up to the economy, bring up innovative ideas that will boost Nigerian's economy. Okay, in regards to this particular husband and wife, we've been dragging this news now. It has been on our headlines for the past, should I say one week now. Now this is where we join our cutting in regards to this story because yet the federal government is yet to have a meeting with the NLC. So we, just like you know here in CIA, we keep bringing you the stories as it keeps unfolding. Now, now for this very one that uh, they are yet to draw conclusions on, if you have, I know Nigerians always have what to say. Now do well to slide to, your, to our comment sessions and drop your thoughts in regards to this. Is the federal government right placing it at 48,000? Is NLC also right placing it at 615,000 monthly? I would like to see your views in regards to this particular headline. This has been the CIA Corner here on TAF TV and I've been your co-host for today, Yokema. See you next time.